All right, so as I mentioned in my last video, I purchased a huge camera lot on eBay that I'm looking to flip. I've already done the research to see how much each camera should go for if it's in working condition. You can actually click the link above to watch that video. My next step is to check which cameras are ready to test and which cameras are not. All of them require some kind of battery to properly test. So I'm gonna run through each camera now to see which one's missing a battery or a charger to make it work. The one thing I did notice though with this camera lot is that none of the cameras had a charger. It's not a big deal for some of the higher priced cameras because I can pick up a cheap charger on Amazon. However, for some of the cheaper cameras, a charger will eat into my profits. If that's the case, I'll simply add it to my collection of untested cameras and sell it on eBay as a camera lot. By the way, as you're watching, leave a comment below and let me know if you've ever used these cameras before. All right, let's do this. So the first camera here is the Canon ELF. 530 HS. This camera was released in 2015. Let's check and see if the battery is here. There's no charger and I have a battery, just not a charger. So we'll have to get a charger for this one. The next camera is going to be this Nikon L830. Check and see if it has batteries. This camera was released in 2014. Okay, so this one takes simple AA batteries. So this is definitely one that I can test. Next on the list is the Nikon D3300. This camera was released in 2014. So the weight of this thing tells me that there's no battery, which there is no battery here. So I'll definitely have to pick up a battery. There we go. Lens fits, but no battery, no charger. So this one will have to wait as well. All right, next on the list is this Nikon Coolpix P500. This camera was released in 2011. There's no battery. So this one as well, I'm gonna have to uh, look into getting a battery. Next one on the list is this Nikon 1J1. Comes with two lenses, which is pretty sweet. This camera was released in 2011 as well. And there is a battery. So there's a battery. I do not know if it needs a charger, but I'm gonna assume I don't have the cable, so I'm gonna put chalk this one up as I don't have what I need to test it. Next on the list is this uh, Sony NEX5, right? Yeah, NEX5. Good news. There is a battery, but again, no charger. Next on the list is this Nikon S60. Good news. There is a battery included. No charger, no charging cable. So again, I'm going to leave this one as untestable until I do a little bit more research. Next is this Fujifilm Fine Pix. S1000 FD. I have used these before, or gotten these and sold these before. Um, I know these take double A. One of the things we do want to make sure when we're checking these batteries, especially double A batteries, those kind of batteries, is for any kind of corrosion. Uh, and this one looks clean. Um, so this one is testable. This one is our Canon EOS 30D. There is some issues here with this LCD display, so I'll have to look into that, see if that can get cleaned up. But I feel it feels heavy, so I believe there's a battery. No battery. So it's the lens that's heavy. So that's going to require me uh, to look at getting a battery and a charger for this bad boy. So not testable. Uh, by the way, this one's released in 2006. All right, next on the list is the Canon PowerShot A610. This was released in 2005. This takes AA batteries, no corrosion, looking good, but we'll be able to test this one. All right, next on the list is the Olympus uh, C740. This one as well takes AA batteries, looks pretty good, no corrosion, so we'll be able to test this one. By the way, this camera was released in 2003, which means it's approaching vintage. Congratulations. All right, next is the Sony Cybershot S85. Let's open it up. There is. This one actually has the Sony battery, which is huge, NP FM50, that's nice. So this one doesn't have a charger though, so we're gonna have to set it aside or figure out how to charge it with a cable. By the way, this one was released in 2001, so one more year, and then we can call this one a vintage camera. Now this one we can actually call vintage. This one is the Minolta Maxim HTSI Plus. It was actually released in 1998, and this is a film camera. So let's check and see the battery on this. And this one is an interesting battery. It's one battery. I don't know if this is a double A. Uh, I'm going to have to do some research on this one. CR2 battery, whatever that means. I'm going to have to look that up, see what a CR2 battery is. I don't think this is your normal double A battery. So this one 
we'll have to wait. And lastly, the cameras that I'm really excited about are of course, my Canon AE-1s. Um, I definitely have the batteries for these. The battery goes right here on the side of the lens. These AE-1s were actually released in 1976. Very old cameras. All right, so there you have it. Any camera that is ready to go will be tested in an upcoming video, and the rest of the cameras will have to wait until I get a charger or a battery for it. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. See you next time.